here at Wine Lovers. Holly Howell here, reporting from the front lines at one of my favorite new hangouts at 757 University Avenue. It's called Chocolate and Vines. And I'm here with owners Danielle and Mickey, and of course, the darling little Chewy, uh, to join us and talk a little bit about what they're doing. Um, actually, it's all about great chocolate, great cheese, great wine, gourmet coffees, microbrews, and even a pool table. I, I think I died and went to heaven. Danielle, Mickey, what, what gave you this idea? What made you decide to do this? Well, we, there's a uh, place called Coco Bar in New York City that pairs uh, wine and chocolate, uh, and we both have a, a big food background, uh, and we kind of just ran with it. And with the Finger Lakes region up here, uh, it was pretty much just a, a give me, and we're surprised it never happened before we got here. And uh, we've just been loving every moment since we got up here. We're getting great feedback from the community, and the wines have just been pouring out great. It's been lovely. Yeah. Awesome. And it's so cozy. It's, it's right in your own house. And you oh, actually yeah. turn it into this beautiful place where you can come and play pool and, and have a snack and get cheese and, and wine and, and microbrew and you are so supportive of New York State, which I love to see the wine that's doing here. What we're gonna taste the wine today from McGregor. And I know you guys have a real passion for their wines. Oh, we love McGregor. He's kind of our hidden treasure that we get to cajole into our little project. He um, when we first contacted McGregor's he wasn't actually distributing and we went down there, told him what we were about, and we're carrying six of his wines now. He has some of the most fantastic wines we've tasted across the board. They were just absolutely amazing. His Riesling is incredible, the Black Russian Red, your Cassatelli. Awesome wines. We're really, really excited to be getting him back out into distribution in, in Rochester. Excellent. And what I love is you two are even really from this area. And you've really fallen in love with the New York State wines and really gotten behind it, which is great. McGregor is a wonderful vineyard on the east side of Cuba Lake, and it's a great place to visit, but you don't even have to go that far. You can come right there to Chocolate and Vines, and we're going to taste this very unique Arquette Sotelli Seregetia. Am I pronouncing that right? Seregetia. Seregetia, yeah. But you had a lot more flavor. But this is, this is a wine you're not going to find very often in New York State. Actually, our Cat's Italia is a, is a, a European vinifera grape, but it comes from the Ukraine. And I think only two wineries in New York State are doing it, Dr. Frank and McGregor. Yeah. Um, and McGregor blends it with another unique grape uh, from Russia called the... Sedex. Sedex, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to taste this. And if you've not had the, the McGregor wines, this is really a fabulous, unique wine. So cheers, you guys. Cheers to your success and a great business. Absolutely. And chewy. Yeah. Cheers. Let's taste it. Oh, just the aroma. Beautiful. Okay. Mm. Have an honor. One of my favorite things about this wine that I want to mention is the color is so pale and crisp and it just it's so light you almost don't expect anything from it. But then when you get to the nose. Oh my gosh, you get so much fruit and it's just so, immediately it hits you, it's nothing like timid at all. And then once it gets to your palate, you've got the salt and the fruit and the wonderful full mouth feel to it. Yeah, that's the it's real... So much more than I would have expected from something so, so light. I love this one. Yeah, it's fabulous. Yeah, you're always going to get that big Mediterranean sea salt nose oh. that shows that really it's from like a Ukraine Mediterranean area, which you don't find on, on the other variation. Uh, that's grown in the Finger Lakes. McGregor's really pulls out that sea salt, which is what grew grew us to this wine so much. I mean, I never tried one until I got to McGregor's, and when I tried his uh, your Catsatelli, I just like flipped out. I was like, where did all this acid and puckeriness come from? And it doesn't taste at all from Finger Lakes. I mean, you're like, you can try all day to taste Finger Lakes terroir out of this, and you're not going to taste any of it. Yeah. So it's very just, unique yeah. wine. There's no, nothing to compare it to, no. and also very food friendly too. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the chocolates that you recommend. Chocolate and white wine. Who knew? Yeah. And uh, let's give this a try. Absolutely. I've heard this is a great, um, the flavor of the passion fruit in the chocolate. Mm -hmm. The connection of just the... Uh, the wine first and then the chocolate. Wine first, <laughs> then chocolate. <laughs> There's just so many good things yeah. around me, I don't know what to start with. A little taste of that wine. Oh, it's almost got like a Riesling, a Burt's, mm -hmm. Sauvignon Blanc. But like a puckery pineapple. Mm -hmm. even. Yeah. Oh. Mm. And melt in your mouth of so chocolate. You know, it's interesting. This is one of the few dark chocolate with white wine pairings that we do. Mm -hmm. But the passion fruit has so much kiwi, fresh fruit flavor to it. It almost like it's almost more fruity than it is the dark chocolate. It's so it's and it and it pairs so well with this nice crisp white. That's such a great summer wine, by the way. 
When you come to Chocolate and Vines, you must try this pairing. Absolutely delicious. And we're going to be back to taste some more wines here mm -hmm. down the road. But um, so Mickey and Danielle, thank you so much. And Shui, you too, for having us. And we will be back. Thanks. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.